You recently raised $11 million in VC funding, mm -hmm. which was great news. Um, so yeah. what advice do you have to other entrepreneurs seeking funding? Well, it depends on the stage. I think um, if you're out, you know, just getting going, uh, angel funding is a great way to go. And we had good success just, you know, extending out through our network um, and through our professional services network as well. So, you know, friends and family, uh, you never know who might be out there who sure. might have ten or $50,000 that, you know, might they might be willing to invest in your idea. And so we had good success with that. We initially raised uh, about $500,000, uh, you know, in 2004. And that really helped us uh, get going. And, you know, um, I think in today's climate, it's getting much more difficult to raise money. And I think you really need to have much more than just an idea um, in terms of the professional VC community. You have to have, you know, either uh, a very demonstrably unique piece of technology um, right. or a very large user base. Um, and that is, you know, a little bit of the chicken before the egg issue. Sure. Um, but, you know, the nice thing about software is you can do a lot in your garage. You can develop ideas with a very small team and a little bit of investment. Uh, it's not like, you know, um, the semiconductor space or life sciences. Right, you know, where you have to you invest could, in equipment. And that's right. You can do a lot more. And, you know, Jeff and I, when we got started, we were, um, you know, just the two of us uh, in, in my garage, essentially, for, right. uh, for the first several garage months. Operation, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> and and it, worked, it worked really well. Um, and, and we were able to grow the company to the point where when we did go out for our A round, we were already profitable. We had a great set of customers, a couple of worldwide licensing deals in place, and it made the whole process a lot more, you know, a lot simpler. So tell me about your personal background. So um, definitely technical. Um, in my history uh, started up in Canada, actually, okay. uh, with uh, Nortel Networks and then moved on to a company called Milky Way Networks Corporation. And they're famous uh, relatively for um, having the patent on network address translation, or NAT, as it's often called. And um, that was something that uh, we did in the early 90s. Um, and had a very uh, a successful little company that we grew from about seven people when I started to about 80 people uh, across uh, seven different countries. Um, we had a firewall product. It was a network security company, as I mentioned. And um, we took that company public in 1997 and then uh, were subsequently acquired in 98. So that uh, prompted me to look at the next set of opportunities. And I ended up down here in Silicon Valley. and. Um, Got together with uh, a great group of uh, entrepreneurs as well with Muse Corporation and met Jeff, my current co-founder and great business partner. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how we ended up here in 2004. Okay. Now, did you always see see yourself kind of becoming an entre entrepreneur or CEO of a successful startup, or um, did you picture yourself staying technical when you were earlier in your career? Yeah, it, it's a good question. Um, I guess I never specifically saw myself as a CEO, but I definitely <laughs> wanted to create something. I wanted to create something that would be used by you know millions of humans around the world, and right. that's absolutely still the goal. And I think right now this is the best way to achieve that goal definitely. is in this role. And so um, you know I, I'm excited to be doing what I'm doing. Yeah, when you start something from nothing, you're really making a big contribution, mm -hmm. a big impact. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Well, thanks. So kind of speaking generally across all industries, what do you think it really takes to succeed as an entrepreneur? You know, um, there's so many cliches out there, but um, you know, you have to really not take no for an answer. You have to be incredibly perseverant because there are so many times when it's just easy to, to just quit and figure, you know, this is, it's too much effort, it's too much work. I don't know, there's, there's sort of an element that's almost undefinable, I, I think. Again, I, I don't want to sound, um, you know, um, I don't know what the word is, but, <laughs> um, you know, Jeff and I, we started this in 04. We did not take a salary until late 05. Wow. Um, and so, you know, having a supportive uh, partner is always nice. Of course. Um, and my wife has been great, uh, really, <laughs> really supportive. In fact, I met her almost the day when we founded this company. Uh -oh. <laughs> and so she's been along for the whole ride. And, um, you know, so it, it, I guess it really takes just a tremendous amount of, uh, perseverance and really don't let anybody tell you that something can't be done. Sure. Um, definitely take advice from people and actually one one piece 
um, of advice I would have and something that has just been tremendously useful for me is to have a great network of people that you can trust and advisors, um, definitely folks that have done this in the past. I have a mentor uh, who's been you know, very, very uh, uh, pivotal, I think, in, in my career. And um, having somebody who, or a group of people even better, that you can you know, meet with periodically and get their feedback has just been you know, very, very useful. Sure, so how do you find a good mentor? Um, you know, I guess uh, the easy answer would just be to network as much as you of can. Okay. Um, uh, Find someone further along in their career that's kind of been there, done that. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, exactly. And somebody you know who uh, is of like mind uh, uh, would be great. And you know, personally, um, you know, I, I met my mentor just through uh, business relationship. Um, actually, sold the product to to this person, and uh, and he ended up. You know, just, just obviously became friends and and uh, just found him to be tremendously helpful. So, um, I guess just get out there as much as you can um, and and interface with uh, with different folks and you know hopefully you'll find uh, you can't really go out and search for a mentor. You know, it's not something you can post on Craigslist or anything. It's uh, uh, you know I don't know if there's a, a tried and true recipe. <laughs> <laughs> right, of course, it just kind of happens. It sounds mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. okay, great. Well, thanks for speaking with me today. Okay, and thank thanks you. Thanks for being on the show. That was a pleasure. And thank you for watching Talk Tech.